Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. This one's going to be on the Super Nintendo emulator SNES 9X. Uh, so right off the bat, what we're going to do is go ahead and open your browser, type in SNES 9X on your browser search engine. You won't want to try to avoid this one up here because you might get a, an older version. This one here is going to always have the latest one posted. So go over to the GitHub site. You're going to click on latest, click on that. You're going to download from here depending you know on what uh, operating system you're running once you have that downloaded extracted to your folder you're going to go maneuver to the folder where you extracted that and just launch the emulator from there you're going to get this window because this is the first time you launch it so we're going to go step by step here so first thing we're going to want to check is the emulation window you're going to hit settings and then we're going to change a couple of things on here and I'm going to show you why we did that later on in the video but go ahead and travel right here to where it says rewind buffer size you want to set that to at least 10 and then you're going to click OK then we're going to go over to input you're going to set up your joystick so you're going to click input configuration you're going to do here just one by one double click and just you know just follow the buttons that you're gonna assign once that's done click OK now we're gonna go over to your sound uh, I like to get the most out of the sound, so just set it at the max that you can. Buffer, I can do 16. Uh, that depends on your system. You might have to go as high as 64. If you hear uh, like crackling, that means it's too low, so set it a little bit higher. Channels, you're going to want to have everything enabled, so you're going to click on that. Settings, I chose uh, default. The driver, I chose X Audio 2. That seems to work fine for me. Then you're going to go ahead and click OK on there. Now for the video, I'm going to show you the best settings to get the, you know, the highest uh, image that you can. So we're going to stretch image. What that's going to do is basically, you know, just stretch the image to 16.9 to try and make it, uh, you know, it's going to appear widescreen where it's actually just stretching the image, but it will fill up the whole window for you. You want to uncheck this. If you leave that checked, it's going to stay in the 4.3 aspect ratio. You're going to want to check on bilinear filter. Now we're going to go to display configuration. And this up here is up to you also, whatever, you know, output method you want. I chose Vulcan. You can do this. You like Again, you want to make sure this is unchecked if you want right screen. If you want the 4-3 aspect, just click on that. Leave this unchecked. Or check it and it'll be 4-3. By linear or filtering, you want that on. V-Sync, you want that on. Reduce input lag also. And then what I do to get the best image is I set this to 6XBRZ. Then you're going to watch match it right there also. You don't need the scan lines. Enable triple buffering. And then this is where you're going to pick your resolution. I can go up to here. Now again, that's all going to depend on your hardware. Obviously, if the frame rate starts to stutter, you want to, you know, basically go down on this until it runs smoothly. You're going to leave all these checked on. And then there's one more setting that I want to do here. Go ahead to input. You're going to go customize hotkeys. Now, this is a feature that a lot of people don't know about. They, they skip this, but this can come in handy where you can buy uh, bypass, you know, if there's a lot of like little cutscenes in the game that you want to bypass you can do it with this button so you're gonna make sure that this is enabled so you want to assign that to a button on your laptop then re rewind also comes in handy and I'll show you why later so double click that assign a button to it once those two are checked you can pretty much leave everything else as is they're already defaulted to uh, keyboard keys 
but again if you want to change anything you can do it from this window here as far as the hotkeys click OK and now we're going to go ahead and launch the game and see if everything's loaded correctly when you get to here you're going to want to hit uh, Alt Enter that's going to maximize the screen for you and as you can see it does look nice and sharp and everything is running I'm gonna go ahead and run this here real quick and I'm gonna show you what we assigned those buttons for so the rewind feature comes in handy you know for example if you fall down a hole if you get killed you're gonna hit that rewind key it's going to basically take you back. So you can basically, you know, erase any error that you've made. And then I'm going to go to the end of the level here and I'm going to show you what the other feature comes in handy for. And again, this can vary, you know, depending on the game that you're playing. So let's see here. You got to the end. Now you can just fast forward and bypass that little scene real quick. stop it go back to normal there you go so that's what you can use those two features for so basically the emulation is set up and like I said you can go ahead and play you know what the different settings for the graphics and so forth to what you want to make it look like uh, if you've looked at my uh, earlier videos you've noticed I like using reshade a lot you can actually activate that on here also and you can look at that video show you how to do it and it'll make it even look a little bit smoother than it is now with the uh, CRT plugin. All right, if you guys can make use of this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and or subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.